Why hello there! And welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2, the retranslation. Today I'm meeting you here at a fishing spot and... Uh, sorry I did that right quick here, but... <clears throat> otherwise the Manilo would have escaped and... Well, I wouldn't have been able to catch him. So as for my position on the world map, I'm... All the way over here, on the left side of the Forest of Green, or whatever it's called, Sea of Green. Because I read up a little bit about <clears throat> items with mysterious properties. A lot of nice stuff here. But what I'm really here for is the Holy Scarf. Yes, please. I would like that very much. <clears throat> In the last episode, I... We cleared out the old man's memory and learned to run some spells. Also, um, I noticed that Lin had... The Bell Torque equipped. Also known as the collar. What it does is it increases your encounter rate by a lot. And assuming that it also is effective while she isn't in your active party, <clears throat> that would explain all the encounters in the last few episodes. But now it's unequipped. This increases your encounter rate in case I didn't tell, it out, tell you out, right? And we have the Holy Scarf, Barding of Encounters. <clears throat> so, that's very nice. Also, the enemies on this side... Eh. They are there, pretty much. Eh, uh, sure, use a short. I believe Lin's weapon is Thunder Elemental. So, there's that. Also, that short was completely useless because a normal attack and Lin would have taken care of that thing. Oh well. I just wanna have a quick look at this house over here. <clears throat> we will have to return here later if I want to show this off, but. Huh. Nothing here except a cat. Push, 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 And you're cutie! Nope, Lin can't talk to them either. Unfortunately, we are kind of on the wrong side of the world here, so... I shall meet you over at Sky Tower. I almost said Wind Tower, but no, it's Sky Tower. Or Heaven Tower in this translation, I still say it's Sky Tower. I will meet you over there in a sec. Okay, and there we are, at Sky Tower, right here in the middle of the ocean. <clears throat> um, fantastic. I do believe this is the same Sky Tower that existed in the first game, except the land has kind of eroded around it, so let's call it that, but... Oh well, let's check it out. <clears throat> There's fish here. Hmm. See, that's why I call it Sky Tower, not Heaven Tower, because it controls the sky, not the heavens. Oh well. Yes, we are the repair crew. <laughs> yes, we are ready. Deep sea diving. Great. Sounds like the perfect plan. Especially since there's now a timer indicating our doom. <laughs> At least it doesn't advance um, during dialogue. 
It does advance during random battles. So that's gonna be all kinds of fun. Um, to get to the door, just walk along the current without going at a 90 degree angle against it and you can come over here and buy some equipment. I could get another Earth armor for Sten here, I guess. But you know what, I think I'm gonna get the Zerklet for our favorite cat person. Also, dang! Can you equip an alloy shield? Actually, let me just check that. Actually, screw that, because I conf was confusing Rand with Sten. <clears throat> so, our next goal is to go all the way down there. To do that, walk like I do. All the way to the wall, and then go left to the door. And run, 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 or you'll be drowned. Because no more air to breathe from down here. That's nothing there. Okay, excellent. There is, however, some pretty nice treasure down here. That makes it totally worth every risk. Especially if you didn't get the stone armor like I did. So first... A demon sword. Nice. Demons and swords usually go well together. Also, I should maybe equip my stuff back. <laughs> yes. Hmm. And now, the bigger sword doesn't need to be... No, not use. Are you mad? Doesn't need to be a thing anymore. Where is it? Bigger sword, bigger sword. <clears throat> Probably all the way down the list. Yes, there it is. Let's put that at the top of our inventory so that everyone can use it to heal. For a hundred things for free. Pretty nice effect, if you ask me. So, Needle Puffer and T Dalius. Well, at least it's not Tidus. So, there's that. And you know what? Ryu, you attack the Pufferfish. Um, actually, everyone do like this. Yes. Tidalius is not particularly difficult or anything as an enemy. Ow. The biggest problem is his Quake spell. Otherwise he can charge and do some damage. But, yeah. Lin is too quick for this guy. So, and what do we have in this chest? The Spirit Robe. This is actually the strongest armor in the game that you can find for Rand. Unless, of course, you get a stone armor as an enemy drop, or um, the mammoth clothes as an enemy drop, which we can get actually right now, and the enemies are already defeat Abel, but the plot hasn't directed us in that direction yet, so I'm not going there yet. But I think I will permanently equip the spirit robe on Rand anyway. Because it gives protection against the elements. Which is nice. By the way, it has a defense stat of, I believe, 12 or something? So yeah, it's not very strong. But Rand really has a pretty darn bad equipment draw. So, yeah. Anyway, we need air, and we need it right quick. 
I think we don't need it that quick that we can't go over here first. Four thousand tenny, nice. Once the timer drops below one minute, the music speeds up to indicate, hey guy, you were in trouble. That's all I'm jump waiting for all right now. Oh yeah. And let's continue. For some new enemies, the Ammonite Squids. Now for these enemies, you may or may not want to use elemental weapons. By that me, I mean you may not. <laughs> um, because they are immune to pretty much every element, except getting whacked in the face. <clears throat> Ow. Fortunately, they are rather slow, and only Rand is slower than them, I believe. Oh, treasure, hello! For a guts pill. Hmm, who can use guts? Considering that Lin is the one most likely to die, why do I have still these crappies around? I don't know. Um, let's give her the guts pill. The guts stato state. And the guts stat, what it does is... It lets you get up in battle after being killed. I believe that's what it does anyway. And I kind of need to heal up Stan there because one of these ammonite things had the audacity to blast him with an ice blast. I do not approve of that. Not one bit. Hmm, Cloud Eater. It eats Cloud Strife. I guess. Then, and I also suggest we take that guy out first. Because I don't like people that are quicker than me. No, not again. Good job, Rand. 22 for a death blow. Um, you know what? Use the bigger sword on yourself. While the real fighters take care of this, these guys. Also, thank you for defending Mr. Ammonite Squid Fang. Ah, dang it, I could have used the bigger sword one more time with Lin. She would have gotten the healing in before we killed the Fang. Oh, this room is fun. Not. Um, which way do we want to go first? The stairs or... Oh, come on, let me in the door. Ah, this is the dead end, okay. So we don't want to go there at all. So, how to get to the stairs? Go up here and in. Ice shield? Ah, uh, well, ice armor, it exists, but I don't think it's as good as what we have equipped already. By the way, the chakram that I bought blindly in the dream world is a weapon for Stan. Ooh. Dear Stan, you may get some better equipment today. But let's see if my main party can do anything with these shields. By the way, Mr. Rand, is it possible that your 
The equipment draw is also very bad regarding helmets. Um, yes, then here you go, ice armor. Aren't you happy? And you know what? You also get the ice shield. Well, your defense is almost as good as that of our fav favorite kitty. Also, we are pretty much at the end of the dungeon. Well, hello, you're one of the shamans, aren't you? Spoona! Yes, there... There's a door? I didn't see any doors. Only empty frames that stare at you like the eyes of a forgotten puppy. <laughs> um... Yes... Yes, and not only are you a wind shaman, you're also an airhead. <laughs> yeah, think. Are you sure you are thinking? And there she goes. We have a new shaman, and the fog problem is. Um, gone. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring anyone with me who can exit us out of this tower, so I have to obey walk all the way out of here. Oh well. I'll just meet you guys next time on Let's Play by the Fire 2, the retranslation, at our lovely hometown of Township. Yeah, so also almost said Townville. I think that's another game. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is Legion and Fabi Well.